There's a little island of hope right here and prosperity. A little Planea Petrantha Sapucaia. It's got flowers, a lot of flowers. Little tree, probably five years old now, five or six. And it's just handling it. It's doing what it has to do to pay the, to pay the bills around here. This tree ain't funking around. You know, it says, I understand it's wet. I know you didn't have everything I needed, daddy. But I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna do the best with what you gave me. And that's what it did. So I'm proud of this tree. I'm very proud of this tree. Even has a little wilt in the new growth, it looks like. I'm proud of all of these trees. I'm proud of this one here too. This grandifolia is looking great. The new growth looks good. Real wet, this is all gonna drain off. It's wet now, but it'll drain. This is a Sabra. A regular, a regular Sabra. Regalo. And I've had to fertilize it quite a bit. You see what happens to the leaves? Isn't that, isn't that a dandy? A doozy, but the new ones come out okay. This one flowered, but it didn't fruit. Look how wet this guy is. I've lost other trees, but not Jabbity Cabas when it gets wet. <laughs> it's in there. That's one of the prettiest trees on the lot, Bubba. <laughs> I think it looks great. Growth looks great. Through all the heat, there's your Schatzers hybrid. Nice wet planting. Looking good. Patricia, Eugenia Patricia takes wet. This one had a fruit on it, man. A bona fide. Starting to fill out. I thought I saw one. Chicken must have got it. Hopefully, it does a, a tasting video and we. You can see what it thinks of it because I didn't get a chance to do it. Maybe they'll put up the video. This is a uh, Coronada seedling. Real wet. Putting out some new growth. Probably have to fertilize it again soon. Got two of those. That one looks better than the other. This is the, this is the other one. It looks like shit. Sometimes it just takes them a couple years and they grow out of it. So we'll see. I've fertilized it. Yes, I did. Real wet. Grafted trunk of flora, real wet. But I just wanted to show off how wet these things are right now. Let's see if there's any fruit on these. Patricia, I saw one. They're real small and they're not setting, filling out. But really, that's what I wanted to show you. This is that one that may be a trunk of flora hybrid. Always made small fruit. But I'm pleased with the new growth coming out. Been through a lot of stress. So this, this the water table here will, will remain at about a foot deep for the next couple weeks, I'm, I'm sure. But it'll drain out slowly. But right now it's saturated. And uh, this is the kind of things that I grow. This is the real wet spot we're standing in. Got Jabbity Kaba seedlings all over. Eugenia, some bananas over there. A mango tree growing tall. Yeah, mangoes can take pretty wet, but it probably doesn't make for the best fruit quality. I'm saying one of these Patricias had a fruit on it. These look good though. I'm pleased with the way the Eugenia Patricia I look. One had a nice size green fruit. And it's gone, daddy, gone. The fruit is gone. Bum 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 bum. Not today. Bactris Satosa takes a flood. I let the fruit get really ripe and it tasted good. It was sweet, but there wasn't much to it. 
This is a seedling that looks like a Grimmel hybrid, possibly. It hasn't fruited yet, but the leaves are all wacky, wacky wonky. They do what they want. Sometimes they look like this. And then sometimes they look like this. And then like that. And like that. And like that. This tree doesn't know what it wants to look like. It's still trying to figure out its, its look for the fall season. He's like, I may go big leaves. Oh, with the straight little ones. And then I might go with the small ones or the big ones. I don't know. Nah, it would probably be a Sabra. The only way I can usually tell if it's a Grimmel and a Red or a Grimmel and a Sabra is how long it takes to fruit. And then, of course, the leaves and the bark color. I don't know. This may be a Grimmel Red. It could be, I guess. And maybe it's taken more after the Grimmel. But I was thinking it's probably a Grimmel and a Sabra. And what I'm noticing too, is you go and you take two trees that may not be that fuzzy when you cross, when you, um, before you cross them, the new growth isn't that fuzzy. After you get across, the new growth is fuzzy. Sometimes it can bring out some fuzz that wasn't on either of them. That's the way I'm seeing it. It happens with the Grimmel, actually. You can get hybrids of the Grimmel, and when they come out, it's got a fuzz that was neither on the Grimmel nor on the other tree. We'll try to take a look at that in a minute. This is a Fetrantha bronca. You know, they're, they're all calling the Ariana and the Fetrantha. They're, ba they're basically the same because you can't have a red Fetrantha. Uh, uh, you know what the fuck I'm saying. You can't have a green Fetrantha and a red Ariana. And then say, oh, yeah, I can tell the difference. This one is this, and the other is this. Well, show me how, bullshit artist. Do a gene, gene test and show me. Show me the genetic profile, bro. I need to see markers, DNA markers. Then I'll start to believe your bullshit theory. Bullshit. They're all the same. It's all the same species, and they're just varieties. It's all bullshit. How are you gonna have stable hybrids that produce stable offspring if they're all different species? I thought the definition of a species is not being able to interbreed with another species. Now how the fuck I'm able to get all the hybrid then? And then why, is they, why are they stable after the fact? This one broke right here. This is a Patricia that got broke real bad. And I taped it back together. And it's trying to hold on, baby. I don't know where it's broken at, but it is. It's got flowers. Where's it? Taped that around real low right there, I guess. I taped it back. It's growing. It's got a lot of suckers coming. You can cut these down to the base and they'll come back from the roots like a guava. So this lost all the leaves, but the, the branch is still holding flowers. This one got broke real bad by like a branch or some asshole walking by. It's another one over there. I put the Patricia eyes all over the lot because I just, they're hard to get. And this is supposed to be a precocious variety that the other guys won't get. Let's go look at some of that growth on the fuzz. Fuzz on the growth. Damn, I didn't bring in my pine bedding. It's going to get wet. Damn it, Bobby. So first let's go look at a Grimmel and see if we can see any new growth. This is a Grimmel. Got a bunch of weeds. I fertilized the hell out of this tree lately. we go see now look okay it does have fuzz on it the grimmel does have some fuzz just just not a lot and it's in, in different it's in different places i see some fuzz though we're going to get a close look at that i'm going to stabilize that branch and zoom in and we're going to use our photographic memory to re remember I see fuzz. I see the fuzz. It's on the stem kind of like a light fuzz. 
and then on the vein. There's hair on it, though. There is. Just not a lot. Sorry, I'm not filming so well. Anyway, it's got a mild fuzz to it. But now you go look at something like the Anomaly, and they don't got no fuzz. If I can find one of them damn things around here. I got one. Yeah, I got one around here. There it is. Or maybe there is some hair on the, on the not on the leaf, but on the, um, I'm sorry, there is hair on the anomaly, but it's, it's not on the leaf really. It's more on the stem, just a slight, a slight fuzz on the, so they're similar in that respect. But if you go and cross the two, are you, you're going to get more. The stems are fuzzy on both of them. But this one's got a more of a shine to it, if you will. See that fuzz? But let's go look at the hybrid thereof. And look at it. It's fuzz, dog. I feel like it got more fuzz along the way. Hold on. That looks more fuzzy to me. But about the same, I guess. It's very similar, actually. What a stem. Very similar. <laughs> anyway, maybe not more fuzzy. I see that wanting to be that grimmel with that long leaf coming out, kind of, where it wants to act like a grimmel. It's trying to bring its grimmel out. It's like, don't make me bring my grimmel out. But then the old, that looks more like the anomaly. The, the, the leaf, when you touch it too, the plant is very soft. Oh, look. Check it out. These are the days of my life. I don't know how that happened. It just broke and it healed up. I took a picture for my Instagram. Somehow that happened. I noticed it today. Must have had something break it. It's cool, man. It's been a good growing season over here. Let's take a look at the leaves on this one. It's another Grimmel hybrid. For some reason, I was thinking these leaves were a lot more fuzzy. But now that I look at them, I'm just seeing differences in new growth color. This one has like a lime green color instead of that wine red, which is very interesting. I, I love the bark on this tree too. If you look at it, it just, it really does look a lot like the Grimmel, but a different growth habit now. Very small, branching, slow growing. Same age, that tree is the same age as that tree from the same, they're siblings. These two are siblings. So you see the different results that you get. And um, honestly, I, I play favorites here and I don't like to play favorites, but this one would be the one that is more of my favorite just because the way it looks. It's just got an appeal to it that I, I dare not speak of on camera. Let's get down and look here close at it. I like to fluff it up. Let me zoom back out here and get these leaves up off the ground. Pick yourself up, son. Pick yourself up. Look at all the leaf drop. From it just happens. Don't don't panic. You're gonna get some leaf drop, fellas. I don't know if it was from fertilizers or too much water. It's all right. They're dropping. But look, you got new growth coming out, which is a blessing. It's a blessing. But I like that bark on it and that trunk. And look at the leaf on it. Look at them leaf. Somewhere in between anomaly and your grimmel. Look at the shape on them. Very low spreading, a little weepy type of thing here. And it just grows all over itself, kind of folding downward. We just love it over here. Okay, now, trick is, this is not to break anything on the way down. All right, we done it, we did it. And then, this is that variegated, um, it looks like it's still variegated coming out. The uh, Lemon drop, that's a whole nother issue. 
Look, it's got two different colors coming out. I see it. I like to see a white spot. It looks like a pale spot. We'll see. It's going to hold up. If that holds up, that'll be real nice. I just gave that some love. It's got a totally pale leaf. Ooh. And you got your variegated groomachama doing its thing. Looks like it could flower. Looks like you might get a flower on it. We'll see. It's about that age, man. This is the size that they would flower at. I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see any flowers. There is a hybrid of the Kimber. I tried to hybridize the Kimber and the Anomaly. That's that. There's two of them there. I don't know if it worked or not, but we're going to have to wait and see on it. It's way too early to tell, but it does look interesting. It has a different look to it for sure. Let me look at the label on that tree. Hold on. Let's look at, let's read that label because I have that label. Okay, hold on one second. It is, we're going to call that, okay. Kim, Kim Pink. Okay, one says okay. All right. All right. So, what that was, let me shut this down gently. Oh gosh, I'm trying to break. This is a little bit of a precarious thing. So, what this seedling was, Kimber seedlings are usually a um, tan color. This one was an odd pink color. So I took pictures of it and I labeled the seed and it looks a little different from now, but it's too early to tell. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. But that's the Kimber seedling that was pink when they're usually tan. So that's what that was. And then this was another one that was a real odd one with a two color seed, pink little dot, and then a white outer area I took a picture of. It looked like an alien embryo kind of thing. That's that one. And right now it doesn't look anything special. It just looks like just looks like an anomaly kind of yeah this is that one with the funky leaf it's flowered before i ain't making no database i'm good on that dog i'm good uh i don't want to do it dog i feel like a raccoon sorting through the trash can and everybody wants me to sort their trash I've got my own trash to sort. So I've got the database, but it's right here in my brain. And then there's going to be other ones that I don't know of that I just don't care about, unfortunately. They're like people, you know, and, and musicians. And there's going to be something that come out in the world that everyone wants to just say is cool. And then I'm going to be like, nah, fuck that one. I don't care. But that's just me. There's some of them that just capture my eye that I like. But then you're going to get the one that looks just like it. So go ahead and collect black velvet and then collect blue velvet, then collect, you know, it's like it's going to get, there's too many. And then the guy's going to name it twice. You're going to have two different names for the same tree. You're going to have to discriminate at some point. They're all beautiful trees and worth collecting, but you're not going to be able to collect them all unless you're some kind of millionaire living off in some far Pacific Island somewhere. And then even so, is that really going to bring you joy to have all your stupid little plants when the damn world's ending, man? I'm just kidding around. <laughs> I just had to, I had to get all crazy for a second. But no, it's, it's beautiful to collect these things. And you don't have to have a million. You could just have 10 or you could just have three. But it'd be nice to have more than one. I wouldn't stop at just two. I mean, I think three is a sweet spot where you could just have three at your house and just be like, yeah, those are the three. And then, uh, I don't know, man. It wasn't supposed to make you think. I was just playing around. It, it's really cool, man. This is all, this is what it's about. Oh, this is that chicken with the messed up eye. Let's look at his eyeball today. It's coming back. He's coming back. His eyeball's opening up slowly. It's still messed up, but it's opening back up. It's still there. Yeah, he's getting his eyeball back slowly. I stopped him on the antibiotics. Well, thank you, Lord, for bringing back my chicken's eyeball. And it's always the one that I really like that gets their eyeballs torn out. But his isn't torn out. It's just torn up. And who knows how it happened. It could have been a wire. Could have, It's probably a fight, though. I'd like to look at your eye. Is that something you allow me to do? Come here. 
He's a real nice bird. There it is. He's out of here. So anyway. Ah, almost got him. Let me get you. He's a sweetheart. You got one good eye, homie. The other one's opening up. Hang in there. Stay strong. I'm going to put some air layers on this Eugenia Matosii. That's the next step. Look at this cute little lizard, buddy. Tell me this is not the cutest little thing. He stole all the show today. Little I should have no I'm gonna sketchy ass roosters will eat you. That one just hatched. He's class of 2021 right there. He ain't yet been into the first grade. Kindergarten class. They're like students every year. You gotta raise them up. That's uh one of the bluish looking ones to me, I think. We got the blue ones out here. That's got a nice color to it in here. And the Sabra. And it really boils down to the bark on this one a lot. And the growth habit a little bit. But just the bark coloration, I'm getting some, some hues that we don't normally see. And the uh, peeling patterns we don't normally see. So... I'd imagine this would take years to finally flower. And then the foliage has a much different feel to it and look to it, where it's just got a shine to it and a smoothness and all this kind of shit, you know? Just look different than the rest, so we pulled it aside. It does have that Sabra look to it. It does, the growth habit and the bark. So, we'll see. It's just a matter of time. This is another one that I pulled aside from the um, Otto Anderson batch. Or it just kind of looked kind of funny. And it, it's just hard, hard to see anymore that it looks funny. It doesn't really. It, now it just kind of looks like an Otto Anderson seedling. So, but I see the bark. You see how red it is? More like, you know, orange kind of red color. That's typical of, of the Otto Anderson. It's got a typical bark color. This one here. Typical. Like kind of whatever that color is the more orange red that's like kind of typical a little different the mother tree if you look at it this is what the bark looks like on it it really does look a lot like what you just saw you see these colors these patterns and these shades you get your tans and your orange that's the mother tree on the Otto anderson but then something that maybe look a little different like if we look over here i feel like this one just has a much different coloration to it do you understand what I'm saying? Do you see that, what I'm talking about? The colors on it? It's just not the same, quite. You get a different, more greenish, grayish color to it, which is akin to your Sabra. And then this is another one that I pulled aside where I'm looking at it. And it's supposed to have some Grimmel blood, but this is gonna be hard, really hard to tell at this age. And it's, and it's it really does look a lot like the mother tree still. So we're gonna have to, it's just gonna be some time, time taking on these. Love the leaves on it, they're real slender. See, looking just kind of like I want it to for that mixture. Definitely kind of got a grimmel twang to it, how that that leaf does, I think. But we just, no, no telling. You know, if you get it and you fruit it and the fruit tastes just like the original tree and the seed looks just like the original tree and it's just like, you know, it's just nothing different then what are you gonna do, you know? is the trunk of flora hybrid red trunk of flora hybrid flowered but it hasn't fruited ever since i planted it hasn't flowered again i've been on it heavy with the fertilizer but eh, whatever i'm not gonna even think about that tree this tree flowered my um carambola okay it has fruit thank you lord i did get some carambola it looked like a chihuly masterpiece oh they're everywhere i'm seeing now these took a while to show up but Ooh, and they're real pretty and crinkly the way I like them. Crinklers, y'all. Look at these crinklers. With all this water, I bet you they'll get real big. So those are the fwing tongues. Don't count them, but let's look at them. Is there any more? 
I'm happy to just have those. I didn't notice those. They hide real well. And then you see them one day. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at all. Oh, nice. I got a nice, this is the first decent crop on the tree. No crocus. I don't grow the crocus, man. They all seem to have set along this back, <laughs> along the back wall underneath. Wow, look at these uh, purple pulp jabos looking gorgeous, man. I have not watered these for weeks. It's just been rainfall water and everything. That's their purple pulp, rock sepulpa or whatever. They're looking real good, real strong. I'm afraid to plant them. See, they might get damaged if I plant them. <laughs> this is a Fetrantha bronca, the big ass leaf one. It flowered and fruited, yeah, it's got more coming on it. A little flower there. Not a ton of flowers, probably because I have it in so much shade. But I like anything with real big leaves, you know, grow it in some shade if you want that leaf to really show how big it can get. I wouldn't say 100% shade, but, you know, 50% shade. Let it get big leaves. If it makes big leaves, let it, let it go. Good size. State record, man. State record all day. I had a rare tree there, yeah. Uh, bronca mel. A little bronca mel right there. I had a native orchid over here at one point. There it is, yeah. A native orchid got stuck in there. It's still there. Incredible, y'all. Incredible. I just planted the passion vine right there next to the oak tree and threw it up on there. Uh, I gotta pull this crap off. These things. These are my dragon, dragon fruit starting to take off. I forget what variety it is, but it is a dragon fruit. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. Um, damn, I thought I had more dragon fruit than this. Somebody took my dragon fruit. No, they're falling on the ground is what happened. That's what it is. This one wants to fall on the ground. Get Maybe it's the same one. There's supposed to be two varieties here. Oh, yeah, see one over here. It's laid down. It got laid down, y'all. Let's prop him up over there, buddy. Get up. Get your ass over there, son. Damn. This is just a tangled mess of dragon fruit. I don't like dragon fruit growing, but I put them up the tree because I've seen them fruiting up trees. And I already have this orchid cactus that was here naturally. And I'm like, damn, if that stupid thing could live, maybe I could get some fruit. I don't care if I have to chase it up the damn tree. You know what I mean? I'm growing some dragon fruit up on the south side of this oak tree, and that's just what's gonna happen about it. Someone gave them to me years ago, I forgot about them, and they're just slowly catching on. And like, I haven't even really propped them up on the tree, I just set them there. I, I do wanna prop this one up a little bit. Ah, I hate thorns, man. Ouchie, ouchie. There we go. Get up in the groove. You got to get them in the groove. There you go. I put that one up there. And so look, it's starting to go. That one's the one going to be the one to win the race. And then the passion vines did give me two or three fruit. Nothing special. Good flavor. Tastes like a possum purple of sorts. Lemon drop mangosteens. Really got chewed up by some kind of critters, man. Like some kind of bug has really been popping holes in them. But it doesn't seem to affect them. Let's see. Nah, the pulp is still white and good. Mmm. I tell you, sometimes those are really hit the spot. Where you're out there, you're working, you need something that's like a lemonade. 
and then this does it. Mm hmm. I'm gonna hit that with some fertilizer. Oh, dang. Another crop on the Potombas. That's very unusual, especially this time of year. This is the latest I've ever had these fruit. I do not remember another time that I had Potombas this time in the summer. But we'll take it. We'll take it. I got a real a small crop earlier, and I guess they're doing it again. Not a huge crop, but definitely 20 fruit, probably, maybe more. We'll see if the squirrels let us eat them. Tree probably needs fertilizer. This tree's got to be, I've had it for years, man. I've had it for eight years. It was probably three years old when I got it. So I would guess it's about 11, 12-year-old tree. And I've kept it in that same 25-gallon pot for the last three or four years. And I let it stay saturated in a bucket. The bottom half of the roots died off. And then I just planted it right back in the same pot because half of the roots were dead. And that's where it is today. And it's recovered just fine. But I did let half of the roots die. They're dying, y'all. This is a trunk of Florida hybrid. Sabra trunk of Florida hybrid. We called it Novax trunk of Florida hybrid. It makes a nice big fruit with the gelatinous pulp. Uh, several seeds, thick skin. Fruits more than the regular trunk of Florida. And um, it's a really good fruit. Strong tree, really cold resistant. It got down to 25 degrees and the new growth didn't even wilt. So, Novak, Trunk of Flora Hybrid. I've seen them fruit in about four years from a little graft, but mine hasn't fruited yet. And it's been a good six, seven years since I grafted it. Probably because I have it in so much shade and I don't take good care of it. But maybe it'll fruit coming up soon. It's, it's like right there. Here's a nice dead branch we can pop off. Let's see about that. There we go. It looks pretty standard right now. I've cut a lot, taken a lot of cuttings off of this tree over the years and sold grafted plants of it. I'm, I'm giving that a break for the next two, three years. Anona. It's supposed to be cornifolia, but I have my doubts. Let's go ahead and pull the weeds on that and like see, show you what it looks like. Uh, give me one second here, guys. I gotta do this. Ah, uh, it's one of those trees that I like to forget about. It takes a flood. It takes the drought. It doesn't fruit much. The fruit doesn't taste good at all. Fruit tastes like nothing. So that's probably why I let the weeds go so bad on it. It's a rare tree though, and people always ask for the seeds because the tree's really pretty. The fruit's really pretty, easy to grow. Um, the uh, swallowtail butterflies like to ah, lay on it. They like to lay their eggs on it and they never make it. They die. I guess it fools them into thinking it's the right plant and it's not the right plant. The Asimina or whatever, Asimina, Triloba or Obovata or whatever the hell they, Reticulata. We're gonna get a good look at this tree here in a second. All right, now look at it. Look at it pop now on that background. You can see a lot better. Almost looks like a vaccinium, like a blueberry. <laughs> and then it's got those pretty sour sop looking flowers, you know? They don't smell like much. A big old trunk on it. Okay. 
Kwai Muk from Adolf Grummel's house. Hasn't flowered yet, but it's growing real well. It's died back to the ground after we got some freezes. They always come back like a guava. So these are real strong. They take a flood, take the drought, take a freeze. Patanga tubas are just dumping on the ground. Lo loads of them. This one is actually look worth eating. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Pretty good flavor. Could have been better. A little too much rain. Longa pedaluncolata, whatever. That Eugenia. But I'm really coming over here to see if there's any of these Barbados cherries. Supposedly, I'm going to have some of these for sale soon, hopefully. We'll see. Bunch of rooted cuttings. I'm not seeing any fruit on it because I guess all the rain must have knocked it off. Heavy rains make them fall to the ground. But I see a ton of flowers. It's like spring never came, but then it actually did come late. And then, like, it's still... It's like a, a spring mode, a nice heavy rains, heavy blooms. I got a bunch of fruit off the Jabaticabas, a bunch of fruit off of the um, Garcinias. So pretty good year so far. I mean, I really can't complain. Super wet. Come over here and check on the birds. Real happy my one bird's gro growing his eyeball back. Looking at the chicken complex, making sure no one's poked their head through and gotten strangulated. No one's hung upside down by their legs. Fred is chilling like a tiger at the zoo, if, if that means anything. More like a lemur or like something that doesn't mind being at the zoo. Maybe a... Maybe a goat, maybe more like a goat at the petting zoo is what I think. There's another little goat at my petting zoo there. She's thinking deep thoughts, brother, deep thoughts. They're laying on these eggs and they're gonna hatch if Clark doesn't get them. <laughs> she's sitting on a nest of about seven eggs and she's gonna hatch them if Clark don't run out and get them. I can't deal with any more chickens in the world. She's heating them up, buddy. She's got eggs in the oven. Hey, Billy, get off. Don't heat them up too much. We got to eat them, man. She's pressing down on them. These are some anomaly seedlings. This is just great, y'all. Let's see if there's any fruit set on this biruba. Should be about the time. This is about the time when it thinks about it. See a lot of flower activity. No real swollen fruit yet on that side. It takes them a while to fill out and really recognize that they've done it. A lot of ants on the tree. Almost makes me think, should I get Tanglefoot? Look at the mealy bug and ant infestation. No, no, nothing real set right now. Or if it has set, they haven't started to push out yet. The only thing I've got set is mealy bugs. It's a bunch of rain we got there. Beautiful rainwater. There's the chicken with the messed up eye. Can we get a look at your eye? No. He's on the leaning tower of Pete. Hey, they have peat moss again. I just, I just ordered some peat moss, and the prices went up on everything. Uh, it's eighteen dollars, I think, instead of fifteen now. Went up a little bit. Everything went up, prices. Damn, these boots will chafe the side of your leg. Like it just like is hurting so bad. I already had scabs, but you got to wear long. 
socks with these boots. These short socks are not the way to go. Damn it! This fucking door's locked, and I gotta walk all the way around. <laughs> these these miracle fruits smell really good. The flowers on them smell delicious right now, about now. I gotta put these painful ass boots back on. <sighs> It's a little uh, ESALQ seed thing I planted because it looked cool. I thought it may have a little grimmel twang, but maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. Would love to find some flowers on these kambukas. They've been planted for years now and not flowered yet. These damn Virginia creepers. Damn Virginia creeper, man. Vagina creeper. So I'd say everything here looks fine and dandy right now. Everything's wonderful. Ooh, a bird just flew. That's a grafted red job. Look how wet. You the one that's been shitting on my porch? Huh? Uh -huh. That's Pinky. She smells kind of weird. No, it must be there's a rotten egg somewhere. She got serious for a second. Feels like it's 95 degrees out there. Yeah, I'm on a live stream, Big Daddy. Yeah. She's in my underwear drawer, y'all. You're a good boy. So, all right, guys, you have a great day. Thank you for watching. eBay auctions end tomorrow. I'll choke you for being in my underwear drawer. Take care, y'all. Thank you. The sweatier I get, the more I want to hug on you, little buddy. Thank you. Yeah, these are supposed to be a chimera, right? Like, there's not a lot of males. And they're, like, all, like, genetically similar. Somebody looked that up. The tortoiseshell female cats or something. It's some weird genetic freak you are in my panty, raiding my panty drawer. All right.